We've also had a court decision uh, that requires the State Department of the United States uh, to reevaluate its current designations and suggest that they are out of step with the prevailing attitudes uh, around the globe with regard uh, to the uh, movement led by Mrs. Rajavi. Specifically, Camp Ashraf security, it seems to me that the time has come um, to do the right thing for those who, went, who want democracy and freedom and who want the people of Camp Ashraf to live in peace and security. We should, uh, I think, remove the shackles that impede the potential uh, that we see before us at this time. Iran's uh, temporary regime, and I use the word temporary in a hopeful way, uh, cannot stand uh, this situation much longer. Everything that is happening around Iran must make the leaders of Iran wonder what in the world is happening. It cannot be that they see this as a good thing. We've had two years to offer reasonable options um, for the regime to define itself, as I said, and they have now defined themselves and they have defined their intent. Madame Rajavi, it is time for those of us from the United States who have come to know and admire you and your colleagues and your goals to do what is required and to recognize the legitimacy of your movement and your ideals. I intend to work towards that goal personally. I hope that all U.S. participants uh, will unite in this effort. Um, beautiful speeches must now produce beautiful results. And I agree with you, Madame Rajavi, that it is now America's turn. Vive le peuple iranien. Vive la liberté, le grand espoir pour tous les êtres humains. Merci beaucoup, mesdames et messieurs.